wow, Sprouting broke the internet. Thank you to all my new subscribers. You had lots of really good questions and I'm gonna try to answer them for you. So number one, put holes in your bucket, flip it over, take a drill, electric drill, boom, 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 do about 10 holes, stack this inside another bucket. Number two, I am using local corn and soy from my farmer, knock, knock, knock. Hi, I'm farmer Katie. Do you sell your grain? Yes, so I buy these containers, we put them on the tractor, video to follow. And one is filled with soybeans, two are filled with corn. That is my ratio, two to one, corn to soy. And then I also soak instead of sprout. Uh, I like buckwheat and sunflowers, not me. The birds like buckwheat, sunflower, sunflower, very high protein. Uh, number three. Ah! Yeah, they do poop in these. <laughs> Scoop it out, throw it out, rinse it. Yes, it will mold if you don't rinse it. I rinse these twice a day. I also keep them covered. I cut a shower curtain in thirds. Underneath here is a screened bottom board. So when I rinse these twice a day, the screws that I drilled this onto here with allow a little bit more airflow and also allow it to drain. I no longer need my snow shovel here in Tennessee. And so I use that to scrape the excess water out of the barn. Yes, it attracts rodents. I got two barn cats specifically for that. This is Mouser, she's a kitten and she's got two mice so far. And let's see, what else? Flies, yes, tons of flies. So gross in the summertime. But I've looked at it, if they lay eggs in there, more protein for my chickens. Win-win. You have any more questions? <laughs> Post them in the comments. Make sure to follow, subscribe. Thank you.